Hey love folks, it's Rosalyn back to get you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning selves, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support you've been giving yourself as others. You know, if you've been out there and you see somebody in a downward you know, a downward mood, you go ahead and lift them up. That's a blessing. Even if you don't even know what's going on with them, you never know when somebody needs some kind, gentle words in their life. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel like the video, um, well, if you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just have to tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has just gave you good vibes or good information, you know that somebody might need to hear it at that point in time, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for giving my channel so much love and support as well as me. Also, that I would send out as you as well. Um, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I'm listening to 10,000 hertz of Full restore all seven chakras at once. 432 hertz ultra healing vibration powerful meditation sound. I feel it right up in the here in the whereabouts. Oh my goodness, I feel it. Oh Jesus. So if you're feeling all that type of stuff opening up on you, you know why, especially when you're listening to this. You may, let me turn it up. You may need to hear it a little bit more. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. When failure makes you strong and resilient, it does. You know, I don't, I'm not, I'm a sore loser. I don't like failing. But you know what? There are so many times I'm glad I did. You know, and I know people are like, girl, I already know that. But it's just like sometimes we need to look at it at a different angle. You know, there's sometimes we, we fall, we get into, we're going towards something. And we have a bad situation that, you know, you, you're really trying to thrive for. And, you know, you're just trying to find ways to get there. You know, you're trying this, you're trying that. And, you know, you have to go up to the powers that be, you know, spirit guides. Or you got to call the God, the divine purpose, whoever you call to. You know, meditate towards it. You know, you ask you know universe you know what am i what do i need to do what are you drawing me towards you know i'm tired of failing i'm tired of you know going through this and you know i'm just trying to get there and it ju just does because there's just so many times i don't failed at things you know i've failed at relationships i don't failed at parenthood at times you know but shoot they ain't even got a booklet up to parenthood you know and I, i'm really honest about stuff like that because now it's just like with my children um, you know, I try to be more understanding, you know, knowing they can be stressed out. Cause sometimes we can look at kids and be like, what are you stressed out about? You just don't realize how much them kids go through stuff. You know, it's not like when we were in school, you know, they got kids now that, you know, they're hard on them. Um, they, they're bullies. They got cyber bullies. You know, back when I was in school, thank God they didn't have social media back then. Cause Lord, Lord Jesus, you know, it just gets really bad you know and it's just really hard to really go through all that stuff like that and it's just when you go through it, go through things you might have to go through it a thousand times it might take you a thousand times but every time you go through that and i know y'all don't probably hurt me on my videos you know before if you've been with me for a while every time you go through that rotating door there's always something you didn't see that last time when you went through that door there's always something new you did not explore coming through that door. You might be like, oh, my God, I'm tired of seeing this door. But then you go through it. This time you see there's a little crack in the window. Or you go through the door again, you see a little crack on the floor. Or if you go through there, you've you probably seen a beautiful picture that you never seen on the side of the wall. There's always something new that you never paid attention to that you're probably seeing now. And there's always a reason why you're starting to see these things because you might have to go through it a thousand times for you to be able to get it right. But every time you go through that situation, 
Well, I know it was going to come out with them ringing noise. Um, anytime you're going through that situation, just know that, you know, it makes you stronger. It makes you more resilient on the things that you're going to explore, that you're expanding into your life. You know, there's so many things that it calls for you to do certain things. You're like, okay, I never thought of it this way. You know, there's times I got mad. And then, you know, if you can actually find somebody you can trust, there's not going to be judgmental or be telling you something to lead you down the wrong path. Because we can't be attached to folks like that as narcissistic and they'll be telling you stuff just to lead you down a certain road. Knowing they probably see something in you that you don't recognize in yourself. And there's a lot of people that have blessed me and humbled me for seeing a lot of things I didn't see in myself. So I know when I can pass that torch to somebody else, they're like, Ross, and I can't do this. I can't do that. Yes, you can. You can't. Don't never say what you can't do. Nothing. A failure is somebody who didn't try. A stupid question is the ones you didn't ask. You didn't ask. That's how I feel about it. You know, you can't fail at something if you never tried it. You know, and if you fail, get back up and try again, like Aaliyah say. You know, God rest her soul. But it's just like we go through certain things, and it's meant for us to fail at that time. I know that might be crazy, but it, it was meant for us to fail at that time because it's like when we're going through so many different things and so many different obstacles, especially if you're an empath, you already getting it. You, you already know you're going through it anyway. You need some special insurance for you. That's why I said we need some special insurance for us being empaths because we go through so many things that an average person go through and it is it's hell. But it's just like we can go through things and it's like we could be going through a divorce or we could be going through a bad breakup, you know, just with a significant other. It don't have to be a marriage. But all those things that you have learned from that failure of a relationship done taught you so, so much. I can look at my situation and it's like I can actually say, you know, I remember before there's so many times I got pissed off and said, I wish I didn't go through this. I wish I didn't go through that. But you had to go through it because if you didn't, you wouldn't learn how to get your strength. You wouldn't know to respect yourself. You wouldn't know when somebody talked to you a certain way, don't you allow them to do that. If somebody don't respect you, you walk away. And it only taught me so many things that when I know I can pass that information to somebody else that's going through that situation, hey, I might not be out of my situation, but I'm on my way out of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how it's going to be, but I already know what it's going to be. You know, but it's just like, I know I got my strength. I know I got my pride. You know, even though it was a sad experience to really go through, but all those, that heartache and pain that I went through has taught me so much and it made me so much stronger there's times i don't sat here and cried like god i'm tired of going through this i'm i'm tired of seeing the things that i see but i know the reason why i have to see it for it to be able to teach me something because you know when you can love somebody the wrong person for so long and then the right person come along and you love them better than you did the wrong person and you already know what you're going to be set up for you already know what you're not going to, you ain't going to accept. You already know what you bring into the table. You already know what you accept from your mate and what he need to bring to the table. What you ain't about to deal with. Because, you know, some of them will try you just to see how they can be able to get you. And it could be females too. I'm not just saying just men because females can do it too. Because we some slicks. Ooh, we slick. <laughs> we can be slick when we want to be. You know, because we learn off of dudes what not to do. But it's just the whole point, you know, when I say... The next relationship I'll be in is going to be my last one. I, I want to be able to get married. But I know I'm going to respect my husband. I'm going to be able to be faithful. You know, I, I already know if everything is on the up and up, you know we're, we're secure in our relationship. We got to bring that foundation to where it needs to be. And it's sturdy. You already know it's it. So you know when you go through things, know that anytime you go through a failure, it is going to make you stronger. It's going to bring you so much resilience in your life. And just bring you so much knowledge you never thought about before. And it's going to make you stronger. You're not going to, you're not going to start that journey. When, even when it comes to relationship, you're not going to start that journey the way it's ending. Because you're going to come out knowing so much more, having strength in so many places that was weak at one time. And you're going to have more, more knowledge. You're going to be more well-rounded. Uh, well so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I know I must have said something good because Lord, Lord knows my nose started itch like crazy. 
But yeah, when we go through these things, it makes you stronger. Trust and believe. You know, you might hate going through it now, but there's a reason behind the situations you are stuck in right now. Because I see a lot of people in situations they wish they were out of, but they can't find a reason to get out of because they're in that karmic situation. And they know they have to figure out the life lesson that is placed them in that situation for them to get out of it. So learn that and achieve it. And whoever that needs to go to, I know it had to go to somebody because they sent me towards that direction. And my daggone third eye popped up. So much love to y'all. <laughs> I love y'all to death. And I hope y'all enjoyed my first video. Y'all, it took me a lot to get out that, that video because I told my dad I wasn't going to put that out until the 7th of uh, this month uh next month but he told me i had to put it out on the 31st because i know his his lucky numbers is 13 is you know and switched off and said 31st so it, it took a lot of healing to actually do that video because i know i cried so many times trying to do it so i hope y'all enjoyed it so much love to y'all i will talk to y'all later y'all have a blessed safe week and i will talk to y'all my next video oh um and christ jones much love to you and then giving my shout out and, you know, drop me a line. I love to hear a chance to hear from you. You know, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. And know you are truly blessed, highly loved, and forever, fav uh, forever favorite. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm sending out uplifting vibes and loving vibes and um, comforting vibes to whoever truly needs them. And you go ahead and send out the same. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wow.